First, a special report from eastern Ukraine, where there's a desperate rush to rescue civilians who are in the firing line. Ukrainian territorial forces are carrying out the incredibly dangerous mission to evacuate residents. Many civilians are sheltering in basements and the area is under heavy bombardment. Russian forces are surrounding the town of Liman, which is in the heart of the battle for the Donbass region. Our correspondent Dan Rivers travelled with the last team to enter the town before it becomes too late. And a warning, there are some distressing images in his report. The scramble to rescue those surrounded on three sides by the Russian army in Liman is becoming more urgent each day. The 13th Assault Company of Ukraine's Territorial Defence Force braves the shelling to evacuate those for whom a basement is the only refuge. We're with them on their last mission into Liman. The drive-in is against the prevailing flow of traffic. Threading our way through artillery strikes, which are part of Russia's scorched earth strategy, a land grab at the point of a gun. Near the town, we're told to wait as the team assess. The onslaught is beginning again. What we're hearing was filmed by the Russian military, showing a rocket system being unleashed on the besieged community of Lehman. <laughs> And this is the result. At the gates to the town, the only remaining crossing into Liman over the Donets River. The rail bridge has already been demolished by the Ukrainian army. And now this is a last critical supply route for the garrison beyond, enduring the worst Russia can throw at them. This dam is now the only way out of Lehman, and they have mined it, ready to blow it in case they are forced to withdraw. We know the Russians have already advanced into the northern part of the town. It now just seems a matter of time before the rest of it falls. For the rescue team, it's time for a last dash across the dam and the dangerous drive into Lehman. <laughs> The address he's been given is incorrect. The commander Alexander's frustration boils over. He knows every minute here is a gamble. Eventually, they find 68-year-old Alexander Tretyakov. His wife, Vera, and son have brought a few precious possessions. They know they may never come back. On the way out, the team drop food for those refusing to leave. We're told there's a small pro-Russian minority here who'd prefer to take their chances under Moscow's rule. They've made it back, their passengers out of danger, and like so many others, facing a future uprooted from all they know. What else could we take? We have nothing left. Our mother died there. There was no reason to stay. My mother is in Russia and all my relatives. There's no point trying to explain to them what's happening. They don't understand. Russian mothers have sent their children to die here. In the last 24 hours, the remaining Ukrainian troops pulled out of Lehman barely stopping to pick up the stragglers as the shells continue to fall. The bridge they crossed to escape has been blown up this afternoon and Lehman's fate is now in the hands of the Russians. Dan Rivers, ITV News, Eastern Ukraine.